Next up on Boring Gear Reviews, we have the Silk Tone Overdrive Plus. <laughs> Thanks so much to Silk Tone and Moss Distro for sending me the Overdrive Plus. All right, so obviously what we have here is an Overdrive, but I'm gonna say right up front, this thing covers so much ground and sounds good in every moment of that, that it really is something special and that you should really, really consider looking into. So for controls, we have volume and that'll control the overall output of the pedal while it's on. You can also use this to drive and push the front of your amp further. Next up, we have tone. You roll counterclockwise for less high end, roll clockwise for more high end. Uh, next up, we have gain. This thing covers like a huge spectrum of distortion. So all the way back, you get like a slightly dirty boost and then, you know, low gain distortion, mid gain distortion up to really thick, hairy, hairy distortion. Below we have two toggle switches. One is for a bass cut. Next up, we have a clipping toggle switch for symmetrical and asymmetrical clipping. True bypass foot switch on the right. And then in the bottom left, we have a very special kind of voicing toggle for the pedal. So in the downward position, we have raw, which is like more open, uncompressed, more raw. And then if you turn it up, you have the strangled position. Here you get much more squashed. It's like you're rolling the tone back or like if you have a, a, a wah pedal and you're rolling it back, it's that type of sound. And after you select the voicing, you can control when that comes on and off by the left foot switch here. For today's demo, I'm using my 1981 Tokai Love Rock LS75AG, and this has Total Gravy Guitar Works Gravy P90s. As always, we'll be running into my Universal Audio Apollo X6 and then using the SoftTube JMP2203 amp plugin. <laughs> So in this first clip, we're gonna max the volume, we're gonna have the tone around two o'clock, and we're gonna roll the gain all the way off. We're not gonna engage the bass cut, and we're gonna be in the symmetrical clipping. Towards the end of the clip, we're gonna engage the strangle voicing of the Overdrive Plus. And that will all be paired with the Maris Mercury 7 for a little bit of hall reverb. This beginning sound is like everything I want. It's jangly, it's got clang, it has tons of grit. It really responds to your play style. So dig in, it breaks up more, back off, it cleans up beautifully. It's just kind of like a perfect sound. And the way it complements, in this case, P90s was, I mean, just really, really uh, struck a chord with me, no pun intended. You'll hear when we engage the strangled voicing, it not only rolls back the tone and it feels kind of like that cocked wah thing, but it pushes it a lot further. So it gets way heavier, much thicker and beefier. This is a really awesome way that you can have, you know, essentially two distortion pedals in one. <laughs> Thank you. 
next clip, we're going to keep the volume max. We're going to roll the tone back to around 9 o'clock. We're going to max the gain. Uh, still no bass cut here, and we're going to be in the asymmetrical clipping. In the latter half of the clip, we're going to engage the raw voicing. So in the beginning of this clip, I'm going to start with the volume rolled back, and you'll hear how well this cleans up. What's nice about this is, like, this is the maximum gain from this pedal, and it still cleans up so well. So you can accomplish everything you need with just your volume control of your guitar. And the high gain sound we get here is so rad. It's like um, very abrasive in the high end and really thick and um, kind of pushing in the lower end. The way those two things just sit perfectly along with one another is really, really special. It's, it's a very clear, very forward sounding distortion. And in general, this pedal feels very open and kind of um, live. When we engage that raw voicing, it just gets way heavier, much thicker and beefier. And again, it just it, it allows you to have two sounds that complement each other perfect. This pedal is balanced and EQ'd in a way where, honestly, I don't think you can find a bad sound. So heavy, aggressive, raw, all the stuff you want. Enjoy. <laughs> Last clip, we're going to go for a mid gain distortion. So we're going to have the volume at three o'clock. We're going to have the tone at noon, and then we're going to roll the gain back to around 10 or 11 o'clock. Uh, here we are going to engage the bass cut, and we're going to be in the symmetrical clipping. I did want to show how well it pairs with other drive pedals. So we are going to pair it with the small sound, big sound fuck overdrive in the second half of the clip. So in the beginning of this clip, I'm going to be in the neck pickup. Obviously, neck pickups of Les Pauls tend to be a lot darker, sometimes even muddy. Obviously, that's less with P90s, but you know, it is still a Les Paul and it does that thing. So by using the bass cut here, you really kind of eliminate that issue. It really thins it out beautifully without feeling weak or anemic. I love the way this breaks up. It's, it's very glassy and also clangy, but it doesn't get shrill or thin or harsh. It's just this kind of, I mean, like it's like a perfect rock distortion. In the back half of the clip, we're going to switch to the bridge pickup and engage the fuck overdrive. And here we kind of add in this huge sound. It gets uh, really throaty and it, it retains the characteristics of both pedals very well. What I personally love with drive pedals is when you combine them that they don't battle for frequency or for position, that they kind of can coexist really well. And both of these pedals do that extremely well. And the way that you still retain 
the glassiness and clankiness of the Overdrive Plus, which the fuck Overdrive d doesn't have that quality necessarily, was really awesome. So you get this like thick, uh, crusty low end from the fuck and this gorgeous, you know, uh, clangy, glassy high end from the Overdrive Plus. It's just like, what an awesome sounds. Enjoy. <laughs> Silk Tone Overdrive Plus. I can't say enough good things about this. Uh, I was really happy to be able to meet Charles at a uh, the Stompbox exhibit here in LA a few weeks back, um, and I got to let him know that I have, since I got this pedal, I've been using it as kind of like a like an A/B test against other pedals. Like it's that good that you can use this to kind of feel out the not only other pedals but like how guitars sound how pickups sound it's like a very strong rock solid type of distortion a side note i did get to play a new amp he's building and he had there and it was like it it blew my mind it, even through headphones it was insanely good so you know look out for that at some point something i love in a overdrive pedal is something that covers a lot of range, that feels very uncompressed, but that still gives me a lot of options. That isn't like a, a one trick pony. Nothing wrong with something doing one thing. I love the fact that this could do almost anything you're looking for. It could cover all the ground you need. So check it out along with everything else I'm using. Links in the description below. And if you dig the content, please consider hitting subscribe, like, share, comment. All those things really help the channel out and help me grow, which I want to do. As always, thank you so very much for watching and for supporting, and I'll see you next video. Peace.